Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how Phrase TMS Enterprise customers can now rely on their translation memory matches more than ever before. I'm going to demo how your translation memories can be set up to align segment and project metadata to ensure the best pos possible match is always chosen. And this way you can save time and ensure that your translations are always consistent. And if you're an enterprise customer with really complex TM setups, then you're definitely going to want to use this feature. So let's start out. I have a phrase TMS project here with a very simple text, which says today is a nice day. And also attached to the project is a translation memory with three segments. Today is a nice day, all translated in a different way, but with the same source text. So here is subdomain A, subdomain B, and subdomain C, all used as translations. I know these aren't the correct translations. I'm just using these for demo purposes. So we can clearly see how the TM match optimization is used in practice. So let's go back to the project and take note that I have defined the subdomain in my project metadata as subdomain A. So these are ideally the translations that I want to be inserted in pre-translation and in the cat pane. But let's see what happens without using the TM prioritization of segment and project metadata feature. So I'll pre-translate the file. And here we can see that subdomain C was actually chosen as the preferred match by the translation memory. And it's also in the top spot in the cat pane. And that's because the translation memory is currently using timestamps in order to determine the best match. But next, I'm going to show you how our TM prioritization of segment and metadata segment and project metadata can be configured to ensure your preferred match is chosen. So I'll just exit these and delete the job so I can add another one. And I will add the same file with a few new settings. So after I choose the job, I want to scroll all the way down in my settings to TM match context and optimization, where I can see the new preference to select my preferred metadata. So in the current project, the subdomain is what I want to focus on, but I can also select more file name as my second option and domain as my third option. And if the translation memory algorithm doesn't see any matches in subdomain, it will move on to file name and domain, for example. But let's just stick to subdomain for this demo. So I will create the job. And I will also pre-translate it like I did before. Let's see. Now we have the correct translation. Subdomain A has been automatically inserted in the pre-translation step, and it's also the top choice in the cat pane. So there you have it. Now you know how our translation memory algorithm can be set up to ensure the best possible match. Now go ahead and try it for yourself. 